welcome back guys to part two of our trading view tutorial for 2022 in this video we will take a look at some tools in trading view that is very important and very common in technical analysis such as for example the trend line the horizontal line we will take a quick look at fibonacci and more so yeah, guys, i really hope you will enjoy this video and without further ado let's get started right away here and real quick before we start i just want to mention that this video is for educational purposes only and nothing in this video is financial advice uh, and i also do recommend if you haven't already to watch part one of this trading view series this is part two i will link part one of this trading view series up in the corner in the eye but all right guys now let's get started here and the first tool i want to look at in this video is the trend line and to get the trend line in trading view you first of all open up a chart so right now as we're speaking we're looking at the s p 500 which is the uh, largest stock index in the world i think uh, and if you don't know how to open up a chart, we talk about that in part one. But what you do here is that you open up a chart. So you have the window here of a chart and then you go up in the left upper left corner here where it says trend line tools. So you press here trend line tools and then at the very top you have the trend line. So in order to draw the trend line, when you have it selected, you basically click one time and then you drag it and then you click another time. And right here, you have a trend line. If you want to customize your trend line, you can see here that you can change, for example, the color right here. Let's say that we want to make the trend line orange. Now we change it to orange. And here you can actually change how wide the trend line is. So in order for you guys to see it more clearly, in this video, we can actually change this one to be a bit wider. Let's make it three here. So now you can see the trend line pretty clearly. And let's take a quick look here at how do we actually use the trend lines? Well, as we can hear on the name, we use them to draw, for example, we use them to draw trends, but we can also use them to draw chart patterns and more. But you can see right here on this example, on the chart, we have something that looks as an uptrend. We know that we're talking about an uptrend when the price is printing consecutive, higher lows so you can see higher low higher low higher low and at the same time we're printing higher highs so in this case we are definitely having an uptrend and you can basically use the trend line to visualize this uptrend and to get a more clear picture so i would probably draw the trend line something like this you want as many touches as possible here we have at least one two three touches but you want as little price action as possible below the trend line. So for example, you can see that we have a little wick below the trend line here. Here we have nothing below the trend line. So as a general rule of thumb, in order for it to be a valid trend line, you don't want a lot of price action below uh, the trend. Uh, a little price action below is okay. And preferably you don't want any real bodies of candles below this line. So the, the sort of large part of candles, they consist of a small part and a wide part. We don't really want any wide parts below the line. It is okay, but preferably as little price action as possible be below and as many touches as possible. All right, so here we have a support line, but if you want to make this a trend channel, what you can do is that you can press Control and C when you have this trend line selected, and then you press Control and V at the same time. Uh, when you do this, you co actually copy the line. So you can see that you copy the line with the same slope. And then you can take this one and drag here and do the same thing on the top. You want as many touches as possible, but not a lot of price action. And here you can see that we once again have multiple, multiple touches here. And we have a pretty clean trend channel. And in this example, you can see that when we actually got a strong breakout of this channel, you can see this very strong red candle. After that, the trend ended and we started a very strong move towards the downside. All right, so the next tool we're gonna look at in this video is the horizontal line. And in order to open the horizontal line, we once again go up to the upper left corner. We press here where it says trend line tools. And then we have to scroll down a bit here and we have the horizontal line right here. So we press this one and then we have the horizontal line. And the horizontal line is basically used to find support and resistance levels on the chart. So a simple example is right here. You can see, so we press on the chart, we get the horizontal line. And you can see that right here on, we're still on S&P 500. We saw sellers coming in one time right here. This was, by the way, July 15. We saw sellers coming in once again here. So we saw resistance at this level two times. We went down and then we actually went up 
and tested this resistance once again. So you can see here that horizontal lines can visualize important resistance levels on the chart. So for example, here you can see resistance two times. When we finally gapped up above this one, so you can see we broke this one, then we actually went down and tested this previous resistance as support before we continue this beautiful uptrend uh, here for the S&P. So that is also a common principle in trading, by the way, that usually when we break previous resistance, when we break them, they can flip and become support. So this was an example of a resistance, but you can also of course use the horizontal lines to, uh, to act as support. For example, right here, you can see that after we saw resistance, we tested a support level, not only one time, two time, but three time here. So here we have yet another uh, visualized support level. You can see resistance right here, support right here. And this is basically the most common use of the horizontal lines. They are very useful to visualize important price levels. So, so the next tool we're gonna take a look at in this video uh, is the Fibonacci retracement tool. And if you want to open the Fibonacci retracement, now you need to go down one step here to where it says Fib retracement. You click here and then you have your Fib retracement right here. Well, to use the Fibonacci retracement, what we first need to find is that we need to find a swing. So a swing is easily put a strong move in the same direction as the trend. So here we have an uptrend and here we have a swing low and swing high. You basically use your Fibonacci retracement here uh, you anchor from the low of the swing to the high here. So this is the Fibonacci tool. All of these numbers here are basically percentages of the whole move. And by the way, if you want to learn more about Fibonacci retracement, we can't really, we don't really have the time to go in depth in this video. I actually have a video on Fibonacci retracements and I will link it up in the corner in the eye. But Fibonacci retracement, you basically anchor from the low to high in case of an uptrend. And then these levels show right here on the Fibonacci are common levels for the price to reverse. Especially, I hope you can see here, especially the, especially the 0.618 is a very common Fibonacci level. And it's not uncommon here that the price reverse at this 0.618 level. So as you can see, in this case, it was exactly at this Fib level we saw the buyers coming in here and after that we saw a very nice push towards the upside so the fibonacci retracement right here if you want to customize it you basically click on it so you have it selected um, and here if you want to change the colors and stuff you can change change them right here and if you want to change the actual values here you can click on settings and you can choose what levels you want to display. So for example, if you for some reason not want to show the uh, 0.618 level, you can just uncheck that one, it will disappear. But if you are a beginner, I would actually probably recommend the settings that are here from the beginning. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And if you guys are interested in more, then hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day and I hope we'll see you guys in the next video. But for now guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.